Welcome to another WordPress tutorial on Gravity Forms. Today's topic is dealing with how to add an email notification to an existing form. So we've got a couple of forms here under Gravity Forms as we clicked on the landing page here that show, shows us the summary of forms on this website. So we're gonna use this contact form as an example. Uh, first step is to hover over the settings piece as you can see here and then move, maneuver over to the notification section and go ahead and click through that. Uh, you probably have either a set of notifications already in place depending on the site you're working on or you may just have the default admin one. We're not gonna mess with editing, we're gonna actually add a new one. So let's go ahead and click add new. You're gonna enter the name. This is a label basically for what the email address uh, you'll be associating with. Um, so I'm just going to enter some arbitrary um, email. Let's just pretend it's info at msn.com. Uh, and then that's just the label. You can actually call this whatever you like, you know, Rogers, email, whatever. Uh, it's just for an internal kind of use so you know what no this notification is for. Then the sent to is where you actually input the individual email address. I'm going to copy and paste, excuse me, that in. Uh, the from name is kind of an important one. Typically, you want to put, uh, you know, the company name. I'm just going to put, you know, my website. Then you have what's called the from email address. So just like any normal email that you receive on a day to day basis, uh, it has both a, a recipient email, which is you because you're receiving the email, but it also has a sender email, which is the from. Where is it coming from? So it's the same sort of thing here. Uh, ideally, ideally, you want to make it different from the to address. So, and it should be a legitimate address. So I'm just going to put uh, a random one here. I will note that uh, you may, and I'm not going to be covering in this video, but sometimes email servers that see the from email address uh, from a legitimate email source may think it's actually being spoofed and you might not get email delivered to that inbox because it thinks this is not a legit um, use of that email. But not, uh, that's a topic for another time. Just wanted to show you this is necessary to fill in. And as kind of a first measure, you want to have this different from that. Okay, reply to is kind of the next step. If you have an email address on your form, you can actually uh, select it from this drop down over here and when you receive the email at this address uh, when you click reply it will actually reply to the person that filled out the form versus just you know the from email address so in a lot of cases you'll want to do that and again it's just selecting from here and choosing email from the form fields if you don't see it here on this drop down that means there's no email field on your form okay the subject of course is just any old email subject line you want to whatever you want to call it that comes through. Uh, new contact uh, form submission, something to that extent, whatever you want to call it. And then you have the message itself. Uh, so we'll want to go into visual mode and click here and choose this kind of dynamic selector and just make sure to, to have this in there, all submitted fields. And what that's going to do is just give you all the data that was inputted into the form and populated in that email message, which is very handy. You can, of course, put anything else you want in here. This is from the contact form. For example, you could put images such as a logo. You know, so I'm just going to do one real quick from my existing media library. Uh, just choose anything uh, and then it'll populate onto the email so you can add some visual components to this and adjust where you see fit. Uh, but it's as simple as that and that's pretty much uh, it for the setup part and then all you got to do is hit update notification. So uh, settings have been updated and if we look at our notifications uh, landing page we'll see there is the email notification that we set up with our label and again you can kind of review everything by clicking into it and you can see it's all inputted. All right, I uh, hope you found this video useful. Uh, leave a comment below if you have any questions. Uh, uh, please like this video and uh, it would be a great, great thing.
thing if you could subscribe to this channel as well for future um, videos that help in the WordPress world and other internet uh, services out there. All right, thanks so much. Appreciate you watching this.